Okay, so there's two Burrick shops, and they're really close to each other. One's Burrick Olympia, and the other is... Noble Burrick. Yes, and they're like, they compete. They're super close. So our plan is to go in, we're gonna get one Burrick here and one Burrick over there. We'll get them exactly the same and see which one wins. Apparently Olympia's better, well, but we'll be the judge of that. We'll see, I've never had Burrick before, so I don't even know really what I'm judging. So we'll see, this will be interesting. All right, we found it, Burrick Olympia. Are you excited? Um, oh yeah. We have pizza, cabbage, cheese, potato, apple, spinach. I think spinach looks good. You wanna try the spinach? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the minced meat. You are? Mm hmm Hello! Hi, hi. We, this is our first time trying Burrick, but... First time. First time. Really? We heard this place is famous. Really? <laughs> we'll do one spinach. Now, which one, if you were to get one, which one would you get? Spinach, I have, I have not now. Now I have oh, uh, no. uh, meat, cheese, potato, uh, apple. What's your favorite? Everything. <laughs> Everything? We'll do one, one meat, one, one potato. Cheese, one, one meat, one potato. Okay. Yes. Oh, one. so good. Cheese one. Cheese one. Uh, and um, one Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Thank you. Alright, Aim. So which one did you get? I got the potato. That's what it looks like. Oh. Flaky. Looks so good. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. The phyllo dough. It's like chewy. And, mm, I don't know. I've never had anything like that. Yeah, chewy filo dough. And the potatoes are chopped really fine and well seasoned. It's really good. And this one is the cheese. I thought you got meat. I thought I did too. <laughs> oh, I think it is meat. He said no cheese. No, it's oh, just it cheese. Is... I got cheese. You can see it's just like interwoven in the pastry. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta try the cheese because I can tell you like not better than I like mine. That cheese is crazy good. That's the best one. Mm -hmm. Let me try the potato. I like that. <laughs> That's good. Story. I like that better. Really? Yeah. My favorite is definitely good. this potato. All right. Up next, Noble Brick. We're right here, just right over there. Hello. Hello. Uh, meet yes. uh, Brick, please. Oh, meet Brick. Okay. Right. Oh, that's and, that, and that'll America. do it. America. America. Yes, yes, from America. <laughs> we heard all about Burke, so we had ah, to try it. Yes. Alright, now we need to find a place to try this brick. Okay, we've hidden ourselves away from the street. Okay, so with Where the normal Burke, I can tell you right now it already feels hotter than Burke Olympia. Yeah, Burke Olympia wasn't very hot. It's a different shape though. The other ones were in like triangles. This one. This Nobleberg sold kebab and a bunch of oh other God, things too. Oh my that is enormous. We will never eat all this of that. This whole thing was three euro. That's crazy. This one's meat, so I'm not entirely sure. The meat's good, it's really tender. It's a tough call. I like that it's hotter over here. It's not as greasy either, which I also like. Uh -huh. At Olympia Brick, the pastry was laid down and then like layered with ingredients, almost like a lasagna. This seems like it was like rolled up in this dough that like coils around. Mm -hmm. All the ingredients are just right in here. I like that. It makes it a little bit easier to eat. Mm. You want another bite? Yes. Which place do you think is better? I gotta give it to this place, I think. I'm gonna have to my mind. 
It's just not very, like, as greasy. The other place I was almost, like, turned off by how greasy it is. And this is, like, really light, airy, like, warm. The meat is really good. I don't even usually like meat. I don't know. I think I'm giving it to Noble. Uh -huh. I think I'm giving it to Noble too. I think they beat him out. Everybody talks about Burrick Olympia, but I think Noble Burrick is a little bit better. 100%. After thoroughly taste testing our Burrick, we moseyed around downtown Ljubljana. We visited a honey store to do as the locals do and replenish our honey needs. We also stumbled upon a delicious chocolate shop that holds the Guinness World Record for largest chocolate bar ever produced. Afterwards, we made our way to the Ljubljana Castle, the city's crowning glory. All right, so we just got done with the castle. It was pretty cool. The little penitentiary and the viewing tower made it a little bit more worth it, Amy's just saying, and mm -hmm. I'm with her, but I don't know if it still made it like worth 20 euro. It's just like, it, for us, since we're traveling long term, we don't really like to spend money on stuff like that necessarily, but it's still cool. Like if you're coming to Ljubljana, just like you only have like a week or two vacation, I'd say it might be worth it. Especially like if you want the best view in Ljubljana, that might be worth 20 euro to you. But you could come here for free. You know, come here, see the tower, and enjoy like a meal at one of the restaurants or something. Still kind of get the experience. So I don't know if it was worth it, but still pretty cool. Okay, so we got our honey and chocolate. Went to the castle, did some just kind of shopping around. Taste tested brick, Noble Burrick one. But now it's starting to get cold now. The sun's going down and We've walked a whole lot today, so we're gonna head on back to the uh, to the house, go see uh, Darley, and kind of hang out for the rest of the night. That's the plan. Yeah.